Okay, this is a book called Pony Ella. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful horse named Pony Ella. Her coat was white as marshmallow and her mane was long and silky. She lived on a small farm with a green pastures and a lovely barn. Pony Ella was very happy. One day she was having fun jumping over when she noticed a sign on the front gate. Soon Pony Ella's owners were driving away and the new people were moving in. They brought their two ponies, Plunkin and Bun Bun. This place is hideous, says Pumpkin. I can't believe I have to live with her, Bun Bun said, glaring at Pony Ella. My coat is much prettier than hers, said Plunkin. White is so boring, and my mane is much nicer than hers, snorted Bun Bun jealously. She looks like she's wearing a clown wig. Plunkin and Bun Bun did not like Pony Ella one bit. They made such a fuss that the new owner put Pony Ella in a teeny, smelly sm stall that was way out in the back. She never got to jump anymore. When Pony Ella was pulling a coal-filled cart, she was tied up. Her coat became gray as a rain cloud. Pony Ella was miserable. Even Sam, the barn mouse, felt sorry for her. One day, a big shiny car drove by. There was a little girl with red hair and freckles in the back seat. That's Princess Penelope, said Bun Bun. I heard she's got a magnificent royal ranch. I wish I could live with her, says Plunkin. I have carrot cake every day. The princess looks so kind, thought Pony Ella, pulling her heavy car. Well, I heard Princess Penelope's going to pick out the winner of the Tipton 25th Annual Royal Grand Royal Pony Championship, said Bun Bun. It's the most important pony show of the year, and I'm sure I'll win. No, I'll win, said Plunkin. Win is the show, Pony Ella asked excitedly. What does it matter, Bun Bun sneered. You're not going. You're dirty and ugly and smell like a pig, said Plunkin. Oink, oink. On the day of the show, grooms ready Bun Bun and Plunkin, then drove them in a fancy horse trailer. Pony Ella began to cry. Suddenly, there was a puff of smoke and a spray of sparkle. Poof! An old mare wearing a cape appeared. Who are you, said Pony Ella. I am your fairy god mare, said the horse. Why are you crying? I don't, I want to go to the Tipton 25th Annual Crown, Crown, Grand Royal Pony Championship, Pony Ella said. Then you shall go, the fairy god mare said. Fetch me a big, juicy apple. All Pony Ella could find was an old apple core. Close enough, says the fairy god mare. She switch, switched her tail and... Poof! There was a beautiful trailer. Now we need somebody to drive the trailer. The fairy godmare said, I can do it, said, cried Sam. The fairy godmare wiggled her ears and poof! Sam turned into a driver. Cheese Louise, said Sam. Then the fairy godmare swished her tail again and poof! Pony Ella looked absolutely beautiful. And most magical of all, Pony Ella had sparkling diamond horseshoes. As Pony Ella got into the trailer, her fairy godmare said, Now remember, you must be home by the stroke of noon. That's when everything returns to normal. And you'll look exactly as you did before. Pony Ella arrived at the show when she walked past Bun Bun and Plunkin, they didn't even recognize her. Isn't that the fancy pony from Paris? whispered Bun Bun. You're right, said Plunkin. It's the fifty La Fru Fru. 
Soon, it was time for the championship event. Several ponies took their turn going from jumps, but none of them could make it over the last one. It was just too high. Then Bun Bun's turn. She missed almost every jump. When it was time for Plunkin, she knocked over all the jumps over. First, Ponyella trotted into the ring. She got the first jump just fine. The second and the third jump were trickier, but she made them too. All she had to do was make the very last jump. Ponyella jumped up, 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 and over she went. The crowd cheered. Where did that amazing pony come from? Someone yelled. It was Princess Penelope. All of a sudden, the clock struck 12. Oh no, cried Sam. Don't worry. Uh, don't forget what that old horse said. Pony all galloped towards the trailer so fast. She lost a shoe. Wait, called the princess. But Pony all couldn't wait. And Pony all and Sam hurried home. Halfway there, poof! Everything turned back to the way it was. Pony all ran home as fast as she could. Sam clinged desperately onto her mane. Later that afternoon, Bun Bun and Plunkin, Plunkin, Plunkin returned from the show. Did the princess pick a championship? Ponyella asked. Not yet, said Plunkin. I'm sure it's me. No, I was the best, Bun Bun said. Put a muzzle on it, said Plunkin. Go eat an apple with a worm on it, said Bun Bun. And the two fought all night about which one of them would win. The next morning, Princess Penelope arrived at the ranch. I am looking for the champion, said the princess. Whoever this diamond horseshoe fits is the winner. Plunkin and Bun Bun rushed over to see if the short shoe, horseshoe fit. Bun Bun tried wiggling her foot, but it was too skinny. Plunkin tried stomping her foot into the chute, but her hoof was too pudgy. Oh no, the princess, uh, said the princess sadly. I'm never going to find the championship pony. Po pony Owl pulled frantically at a rope, but then she couldn't get free. I'll help you, said Sam, and he chewed right through the rope. Pony Owl ran towards the princess. Plunkin and Bun Bun tried to trip her, but Pony Owl jumped right over them. Holy haystacks, what a jump, cried the princess. Stop the car. Look at the diamond horseshoe and tried on Pony Owl. It fit perfectly. Plunkin and Bun Bun fainted. Someone needed a bath, princess said. Then she nuzzled Pony Owl's nose. I want you to be my pony. The princess whispered, I'm going to buy you, no matter what the cost. The princess gave Ponyella's owner a big piggy bank filled with all of the lounge she had seen. The princess took Ponyella home and threw her fabulous bride party. She brushed Ponyella every day and fed her carrot muffins. Ponyella had the roomiest stall she's ever seen. Boy, this is the life, said Sam. Ponyella jumped all the time, and she lived happily ever after. As for Plunkin and Bun Bun, they were sold to a new owner, and that's another story. Love you.